What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for staying true to the crew. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my colorful bathroom makeover. I'm excited to share with you how I made over my bathroom from beginning to end using DIY, some thrift items, and some new items, and just a whole lot of imagination and inspiration. So if you're interested in seeing how I made over my bathroom, stay tuned. My name is Lonnie and these are Lonnie's Lessons. <music> I've been living in this apartment for a little over a year and I have pretty much worked my way through all the rooms making them feel the way that I want them to feel and decorating them and such. But the bathroom kind of has been the same since I moved in. I want to show you what my bathroom currently looks like right now. And as you can see, it's very sterile. It's very white. It's very relaxing. I was going for that kind of spa, relaxation, clean, minimalist look. So I was really playing off of the white and the gray of the marble. So I wanted to share a little bit more about the design process. So the first thing that I did was I thought about what I wanted this new bathroom to be. And in the beginning, I really didn't have a concrete idea of the design, but I knew one thing. I knew that I wanted color. I wanted a more vibrant, colorful, playful space. I started with that and so I went off to the store. So a pro tip for you is to find one piece to kind of spark your imagination around what you want your design to be. So I went off to my neighborhood Target here in New York City just to seek some inspiration. So as I was walking around in the bathroom section, I came across this rug. So this rug, as you can see, is a rainbow. I actually got two. It's a rainbow and one says hello. They're both in the same color scheme. There's all these blues and greens and burnt orange and teal colors that really popped out at me. And I just thought that the rainbow as well as the word hello was just playful and kind of childlike and that inspired the rest of the design. Another thing that I do when I'm designing a room is I go to Pinterest or just go to Google Images to find images of things that look like what you think you want your space to look like or just to see what you gravitate to. So I gravitated to a couple of images that I will pop up on the screen just so that you can see kind of where I was going. So think pop art, think vibrant, think colorful, think in your face, think hot pink. Think childlike with a modern, clean edge. That is what I wanted to go for for this bathroom. I took my sketchbook and I began to draw out how I wanted the space to look using all of the objects I had. So I started with this kind of gallery wall that was behind the toilet. So behind the toilet, I knew that I wanted that to be the most impactful design element of the bathroom because that's what you see when you look directly into my bathroom. And the bathroom is really small. So I knew that I wanted the first wall you see to be kind of busy and vibrant. So I started to lay out how I wanted the pictures and the objects that I had found to look. And that is how I came up with that design. I knew that I wanted to add a floating shelf on that wall as well as some other objects. The next space that I wanted to work on was this wall that's behind my medicine cabinet. So you kind of see the wall if you're looking into the mirror. So I knew I wanted like a piece of artwork there. And then I also wanted another floating shelf that would just hold like some cologne and also hold little plants and just little knickknacks that I thought would make the space look bright and also bring the vision of this colorful wonderland of color together. There's also the towel rack there. So I wanted to put a towel on there that is in line with the color scheme and last but not least was the sink area i wanted to keep the sink area pretty clean because i really don't have a lot of space or counter area on my sink so i knew that i wanted to change out the soap pump i wanted to add some greenery and i wanted to add a little pop of color so over the course of a week i started to collect items for the bathroom. So I wanna show you some of the items that I've collected from the thrift store as well as around the house and some new items that I bought. So I'm gonna insert that clip now. The first thing I have is this CK1 cologne bottle. I really like that it had this translucent green color and this blue top, which was kind of metallic. I had a pink 
kind of like thread that I already had a spoil of thread. This is the um, bottle of cologne, which was actually the Ken of Cold Black that I just spray painted white. This is a wooden kind of like clip that you can hang on the wall that I got from Target. This is a piece of the album cover that I'm using as art and you'll find out more about that next. I could even use this to clip the art. We'll see what happens. Um, another item that I have are the towels, which are in this beautiful blush pink color. I got those from Target the same day I got the rug. This is an old soap dispenser. I just really like that bright orange color. The other items that I'm using are a mix between thrift items and um, found items. I have the album cover that is a part of the artwork. This is an eyeglass case, so I just want you guys to really just be creative about what you can use. I like the color of the eyeglass case as well as this is the Away from Ello, which is a insect repellent, but I just love the container. I also have a really kind of like utility um, three prong outlet that I'm going to plug in and use as an art piece as well. I have the strawberry picture. I have a rug and you've seen those before in pictures but here they are in person so i have the rainbow rug as well as the hello rug and then the measuring tape that you see is actually a measuring tape that i already had and it just so happened to be in some of the colors that i needed for the bathroom so the first thing i want to do is work on the artwork so i had a few frames already and i brought two more frames from the thrift store that i wanted to take apart and also spray paint. So the first thing I did was I unscrewed all of the elements on the frame and I just separated the glass from the frame from the backs. And then once I did that, I took them outside, just the frames, and I sprayed them a bright white. Now it was time to fit the artwork for the frame. So after they dried, I took them inside and then I just took the album cover and I placed the frame that I wanted to use for that specific piece of artwork on top of the frame. Now I wanna say that this is actually not what you should do, but what you should do is actually use the back of the frame um, the back, the backing of the frame rather to trace out an outline for your artwork. As you can see here, I'm tracing it out using the inside of the frame, the part that is the negative space. That actually is not what you should do because what happens then is that you don't have any extra margin space to overlap over the part that is behind the frame. So then what happens is that basically it's like exactly the size of the opening and it's not enough space to um, give you a seamless look. So what you wanna do is use the back, don't make my mistake. So what I'm doing here is I'm just basically cutting around the outline that I made for the actual frame and i also just cut off the other three pieces of artwork that i could possibly use for the other frame so i'm just taking my scissors here and i'm just cutting all around the outline of that rectangle that i made incorrectly for the frame so that i can kind of fit it in and as you can see here i'm kind of realizing that oh my i cut this too small i should have used the back so pro tip listen to me use the back not the outline and now it's time to clear up the space. So I'm just taking everything out of the bathroom and this is a pro tip for you as well. Just make sure that you clear everything out of a space before you start to decorate. All right guys, so I'm here in the bathroom. First thing I wanna do is rehang this basket. So I'm super excited about this because it was a black color if you remember and I decided to spray it white and I think it looks pretty good. I just thought that with the new color scheme that white would be way better. I didn't want it to stand out. I wanted it to just kind of blend in as much as possible to the marble. So one pro tip is to use a level anytime you can. Anytime you can use a level, use a level. So in this situation, I'm gonna use a level to make sure that it's level in the corner. You place this ledge on the edge of whatever is hanging or whatever you wanna see is level. And if the bubble is within the center, of these two little black lines. Can you see that? So this is level, this is not level. So you can basically use the level and, and rock it side to side until your picture frame or whatever it is, is level. So if you didn't know, now you know.
Now that the basket is hung in the corner of the shower, it's now time to hang some of the artwork in this first area, which is that same area that I showed you earlier, which is behind the medicine cabinet. So I just wanted to take my measurements. Um, right now I'm just measuring the um, nail holes that are on each side of the frame, and I'm also using my level so that I can make sure that we measure twice and hang once, which is like a rule of thumb. Um, I wasn't successful in this because somehow I still put the nails in places that were not where they were supposed to be. But the idea is that you measure twice and you hang once, okay? So do that, you know, do as I say, not as I do. After I hung the picture, I also hung the white floating shelf, which is not filmed here. But the next thing I want to do is I want to style the shelf, so I'm just adding the cologne bottles, including the one that I sprayed white, as well as the away insect repellent, which is the perfect color. And I'm adding a faux plant and a pink spoil of red. Next up is the other floating shelf of the toilet. I'm just going to screw the two screws in and attach the shelf. The next thing I did was just hang the three pictures and I just hung them in like a pattern that was similar to what I laid. Now I'm just adding in the finishing touches, which are those elements that are decorative and just really make the space pop. So that includes greenery and all of the decorative elements that come with it. makeover tell me down in the comments how you liked it and what was your favorite part as always i leave you in love peace and style until the next time don't forget to subscribe i will see you in my next video